How do we practice reading? We're going to do some speed drills that are going to require you to do four things during the exercise. The first thing you have to do is use your hand. The reason why you're going to use your hand is because it's going to help to guide your eyes. Imagine if there was a bumblebee flying around in your room right now. It would probably be a little distracting, one, because it's a bee, and two, because it's creating some motion in the room and every so often you're going to look at it. And this is because your eyes are naturally attracted to motion. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that your eyes are attracted to motion and we're going to create some motion on the page using your hand. The next thing you have to do during the speed drills is just glance at the words. Now what I mean by this is you just have to look at the words, you just have to see them, let them come in and out of your head. You don't have to actually understand the words as you're doing these speed drills. The reason why you don't have to worry about understanding the words is because of the third thing we're going to do while we're practicing. We're going to be going faster. Each speed drill is going to start with you reading for a certain amount of time. After that you'll be required to get to the same point a little faster. And with each consecutive drill you'll be required to go faster and faster. For example during one drill you might read for one minute and after reading for that one minute you'll have to get there in let's say 50 seconds the same place and then 45 seconds and then 40 seconds and you're gonna go faster and faster with each drill. Now you'll be going faster at the expense of your comprehension initially but that's okay keep in mind that these are speed drills so we're not going to be worried about comprehension just yet in fact as we do these speed drills your comprehension is actually going to get pretty bad now this might seem a little strange at first but the reason why we're going to be going faster and faster and not worry about our comprehension is the whole logic behind this approach is before we start reading and understanding things faster we just want to get used to seeing them faster so once we get used to seeing words very quickly, then we can say, okay, I know how to see words quickly. How do I start reading and understanding them this quick? The last thing you need to do while you're doing these speed drills is you have to concentrate. So just make sure you're focused on seeing the words at a very quick pace. So keep in mind, when you're practicing these speed drills, all you need to do is use your hand and just glance at the words while going at a much faster rate than you normally read. Also keep in mind that you don't have to use your entire hand to guide your eyes. You could use your hand or you could use your finger or you could use a pen or pencil to guide your eyes as long as you're using something. The whole goal behind doing speed drills is to get you used to seeing words at a very rapid pace. And keep in mind that when we're doing the speed drills we do not worry about comprehension at all.